Hello and welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to attempt my first cast of a Lumalite in my new pressure pot. I've got a good buddy of mine, Michael DeLalter over. He casts all the time. He's a big label caster and he's kind of helping me out with what to do in regard to warming the molds up, uh, mold release, mixing the resin, and just kind of the general procedure to get everything done. So with his help, I'm put together a little video for you. Hopefully it's informative and keep your fingers crossed that we get a success at the end because I'm pretty excited about my first cast. I'm going to be using a toaster oven and the idea behind that is since it's cold out, I'm going to heat my, my mold up to about 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Uh, that'll help the Alumalite uh, in its curing process. I got this mold from Fred Wisson over at P-Town Subby and the mold is designed for a 2764 inch tube, so it'll work with a Sierra, a Monarch, any pin that uses uh, that particular length and size tube. The first thing we wanna do is spray the mold with a little bit of stoner urethane mold release. And what this is gonna do is help protect the mold over the long run because the heat can affect the mold and will pull the moisture out of it, drying the mold out, and that'll decrease the life of your mold. So we're just gonna spray some in there. I've got my blank ready to go. It's lime green, got a Root 66 bottle cap on there. What I'm gonna do, this was a suggestion from Michael DeLalter. We're going to turn the Root 66 bottle cap down and what that will hopefully do is allow the uh, resin to get down around the cap and to fill uh, in behind the cap as well as to allow some of the bubbles to, to rise up so we don't have them trapped in the mold and what I'm doing is being very careful not to let that blank touch the, the outside of the mold where I just sprayed the stoner. I wanted it suspended and I'm going to go ahead and pull back the edges of the mold to expose as much as I can uh, because the pressure of the pot will push this silicone mold in around uh, the tube or in closer to the tube and we want to make sure we have plenty of room on either end to be able to clean the ends of the tube up. At this point, we're ready to put this, the whole thing, into the oven, and it's gonna sit there for about 20 minutes. My alarm just went off letting me know that my mold has been in the oven for 20 minutes. I'm gonna leave it in there for a few minutes while I prepare my resin. We're gonna be working in grams today, so we'll get our scale turned on tear it out. Now we're going to add, it takes about 24 grams of resin to fill uh, the, the tube cavity with the tube in there of the mold. I'm going to go ahead and add 12 grams of A and then we'll get 12 grams of B. It's going to pour nice and slow. Just a little over, went to 12.6, so got to be a little more careful with my pour. We'll try to get close to 12.6 on the B side. Let's tear this out. Go for the B resin now. There's 10 2, 12 3, just give it a drop. Almost, one more drop. Okay, we went, we're at 12 9, exactly, we got lucky. Okay, we're done with our scale. <coughs> now we want to mix this up. We're not concerned about introducing bubbles into the resin. That's what the pressure pot is for. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> I'm going to mix vigorously for a couple of seconds here, making sure we mix the resin well. Now we're going to scrape the sides of the cup, pulling all the resin back into the mixture. I also want to work on the bottom of the cup, make sure I get everything pulled off of the cup. Start to mix again. I'm keeping an eye on my resin because as long as the resin looks cloudy at all, even if it has streaks in it, we know that it is not fully mixed.
can feel just a little bit of warmth in the bottom of the cup, so I guess the reaction is starting to take place. Scrape everything down off the walls. Let's wipe our spatula off. Let me run over and grab the mold. Now let's pour our resin right on top of the blank. Looks like that was about the perfect amount. Okay, we'll set this onto our rack. I'm gonna set the rack into the pressure pot. Sure that I have even pressure on all four points. I am going to use a torque wrench and I'm not going to torque it down incredibly hard. I'm just going to put a, just a couple of pounds of torque on each one of them. Just enough to make sure that they're... Open that up so I can torque this. I got maybe maybe a pound of torque on each of them, not a lot. Like I said, I don't want to over torque them and damage anything. I just want to make sure they're all about the same so the seal is good all the way around the lip. We're going to hook our compressor up. I'm going to go ahead and charge this up to about 60 pounds. We're going to let her set for about two hours, and I'm going to periodically, every 15 minutes or so, check the pot and make sure that the pressure has not dropped. If it starts to drop at all, I will go ahead and put a little bit more air into the pot to keep it as close to the between 55 60 pounds as I can. Well, it's been almost three hours since we put the mold in the pot. We're ready to go ahead and remove it from the pot and just see how it turned out. We didn't have much luck with our first one. Looks a little bit rough. I'm not sure what happened, but that's why we test. We'll take it out of the mold here and take a closer look at it. I don't know how well you can see this. Let me flip the camera around. Here's a quick look at the blank, and you can see that the side with the bottle cap is perfect. No bubbles, it's just an absolutely beautiful cast. But on the back, you can notice how, see that line right there? The resin started to drain out of the mold and drain into the tube because I did not have one of my stoppers in tight enough. Uh, it finally, part of it drained into the tube, and then it finally hit its set time 
where the uh, resin set up and we are very close to the tube here. I don't know if I can turn that or not. We're gonna try to turn it and see what it looks like. There may not be enough resin there for me to do that. All in all, it doesn't look too bad. We're gonna see if we can clean that tube out and see what, uh, what we can do with it. I think we have a plan on what to do to correct this blank. I do believe we can pour a Lumalite right on top of a Lumalite and recast it. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean out the tube and then we're gonna get both ends of this blank perfectly flat. And next time I mix up some alumalite uh, to make another blank, I'll mix up a little extra. We'll put this back in the mold and we'll just level this out, put it under pressure, and I think we can fix this blank. I'll keep you guys posted on that. I'd really like to thank you for joining me in the shop for my first cast. A little upset that it didn't turn out better, but uh, it is the first one and actually, overall, it's not bad. Appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening, everybody.